the idea is that we're going to take the capabilities of some of the fittest, highest performing individuals in the world, these infantry guys that you were just talking about, and we're going to extend those capabilities. We're going to make them stronger, we're going to make them last longer, and we're going to make them go faster and farther. We're going to take them that extra mile. I know where I am in space. I can tell other people where I am in space. I can transmit that information about where I am in space. I can sense what the soldier is doing. I can sense the motion. I can tell whether he's on the deck or he's standing up. I can tell whether they're sweating profusely. I can tell whether their heart rate is too high. I can tell what We're going to focus on mechanical means to go ahead and increase the capability of human beings. There's a man-machine interface, and that man-machine team is basically what you're looking at here. We took the system out uh, to AP Hill. We put some Army operators in the system. Um, at the beginning of the day, when guys were fresh, uh, the soldier knocked out 26 repetitions, lifting a 185-pound barbell doing squats. And then at the end of the day, after we we traversed miles, the guys had run up and down five flights of stairs. The, they had uh, navigated underground through a, a culvert, the tunnel, for uh, half a mile, something like that, uh, in full mop gear. Um, so these guys were tired at the end of the day. When the guy put this system on, got underneath that barbell and knocked out 72 repetitions, that pretty much told us everything that we needed to know. It's remarkable how much more energy this system is providing to the soldier. Well, when you say calibrate, can someone do it themselves or does it go back to...